Hey guys! So we've had a very busy day around here just doing a bunch of cleaning and a bunch of normal boring stuff. Huh Ella? Yeah. Yeah, lots of stuff. So we thought that we would take a little bit of time this evening to kind of uh, hang out a little bit with you. We're going to talk to the kids a little bit about their sister. Huh Estelle? So before we get into it, subscribe to the channel, hit those post notifications, and what else? Like this video. Let's go, guys. When our daughter was born, she surprised us with her Down syndrome diagnosis. And at that time, we had no idea what our lives would look like. But we quickly discovered extra needs bring extra joy. Through the good times and the challenges. And the adventure and the routine. We're learning to live this life to the fullest. With, with a, a little extra. Okay, Ella. Dad made dinner tonight. Rate it one to ten. Mmm. I say like an eight. Eight. Oh, that's good. That's good. What is it? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. So Jill and Cohen are actually taking a little siesta. Cohen definitely was ready to go to sleep. He's, uh, he was really tired, so Jill took him in the room. You like mac and cheese? Yeah. Yeah, it's your favorite, huh? Yeah, mac and cheese. Okay, let's eat. One of the little quirky things is that Estelle, she chooses wherever she wants to eat, and that's where she's gonna eat. We'll try to put food on the table for her, or bring out her little table, and then she'll end up moving it, or she just won't even go near it, so we just let her decide. And today, tonight, she decided she wanted to sit on the floor and eat, which Worked for a little while, but now she's on to cookies. How's the cookie? Oh God, my shop. At the shop? Yeah. Who did you go with? I go with mom. You went with mom? Yeah. And what did you do with her at the shop? And Ella. And Ella? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you guys do? Shop. You shopped. Yeah. Yeah. Did you help? Yeah. All right, Pud. What's one of the good things about Estelle having Down syndrome? We get to go to parties. Parties? That's pretty cool, huh? Do you do you appreciate that she has Down syndrome? Yeah. You do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Do you? Yeah, would you change it? No, never. What are some of the things about Estelle that aren't just like super cute and happy? She screams. She screams? Her poop smells. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> and she makes a mess. She does make a mess. She's a bad, but all of you guys are messy, so no. it's not just her. Only the babies are. No. She cries when I touch her hair. No, she doesn't. She <laughs> smiles. Get the brush. Get the brush. Oh yeah. What about brushing her hair? That's not the best thing in the world, huh? No. She's cute. She's very cute. <laughs> What's her personality like? Milk? milk. <laughs> her personality's like milk? Yeah. What's her personality like? A macaroni noodle. A macaroni noodle? <laughs> so I have quite a bit of laundry that I need to fold sitting here in the living room. You might have seen it in the background of some shots. What do you think? Thanks. So Estelle loves to help me fold laundry and her big contribution is that she'll take each item of clothing and she'll say whose it is, huh? Yeah? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! All right, let's pull in some clothes. Clothes. Clothes! <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Who's sure is that? Um, <laughs> Who says it? It's, it's a dodo. Yeah, you're right about that. Is it Clifford shirt? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Clifford shirt. Okay. What about this one? Okay. Oh, daddy. That's daddy's shirt. And <laughs> um, that's it. Oh, Kono. Kono? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Koei Kanoli? That's Koei's, yeah. Um, I saw Boba's. Yeah, that's Papa's shirt. You're right. Good job. High five. 
Yeah, that was like a slide. One more time. Yeah! <laughs> Knuckles, boom! Boom, baby! Thank you. <laughs> okay, so my first favorite thing about Estelle is Estelle. My, favorite, my second favorite thing about Estelle would be her personality and her beauty. Explain her personality a little bit. Because uh. <laughs> <laughs> she's so silly. And Are you silly? Yeah. She's so silly and she has such a unique personality. And I love her so much. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> and I love her beautiful face. <laughs> I love her um her facial features. Like her beautiful eyes and her little nose <laughs> and her little mouth <laughs> and her smile is my favorite smile. <laughs> And okay. her razor sharp teeth. Razor sharp teeth, those are good. Mm hmm So what are some of the, um, I don't know, not so good things? The not so good things is when you're trying to brush her hair and she screams at the top of her lungs. And That's she a, bites you. And she doesn't bite me. She's never bitten me. <laughs> She's bitten me a I guess, times. well, I take that back. She probably has <laughs> bitten me before. <laughs> don't bite me. No <laughs> bites. No bites. No biting. <laughs> And I also don't like how, what she's doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> she just goes, ah. Yep. <laughs> That's fun. Um, and then another thing I don't like is, like, when she just, like, trusts you way too much. So she'll just, like, dive, and then you're just like, whoa. That can be a problem. Yeah, like. That um, time that she dove out of the car. Yeah, that time was creepy. Yeah, she and dove out of the car to Maddie, right? Uh -huh. And then sometimes she'll climb up, like, on the couch. And then just fall forward and expect you to catch her, and she'll get hurt. Yeah, she's very trusting, right? Which can be a good thing. Sometimes. That's a good thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but would you trade any of it? Heck no. Heck no. Maybe Heck I would trade hair brushing, but... So... No, I wouldn't, though. No. So would you ever wish that Estelle didn't have Down Syndrome? No. I don't. I don't think I would. I think I would wish that, like, um, she didn't scare us so much. Yeah. At the very beginning when she was born. So I don't think I wouldn't trade her Down syndrome though because she's just such a happy little baby, and I, she's so cute. I would say it's her Down syndrome is part of her character, right? Yes, it is. It's part if, of her personality. And if she didn't have Down syndrome, she wouldn't be the same as Belle, right? Yeah, uh, she wouldn't be the same as Del. Do you think that her Down syndrome brings you more or less joy? More joy. More joy? Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What would you say to somebody who just got a diagnosis for their baby having Down syndrome? I think I would show them a vi videos of Estelle, just being Estelle, and Like I, this video right here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think I would just tell them, like, I was scared at first too, and I was really scared that, like, people weren't going to accept her and people were going to make fun of her but now i've learned like ah <laughs> but now i've learned like you just got to be an ad advocate and teach people to be accepted <laughs> yeah <laughs> is our is our reality like here better or worse because of down syndrome I think it's better because it's teaching me a lot too to be more accepting and kind to people and no matter what they look like or what they wear or like who they are oh, to like be their friend and like if they're having a hard day just like be nice to them always oh, so like nice. this one so Get your booty out of the way. is is our life is our life more difficult because she has down syndrome 
Uh, yes. It is? Yes. Oh, wrong answer. Start over. I think, um, I think it's, I don't think it's more difficult because hey, Stone. <laughs> she has Down syndrome. I think it's more difficult because she, <laughs> she is. <laughs> and, she, and our life would be just as difficult with or without Down syndrome, right? Yes. I think if she didn't have Down syndrome, we would... She would still be doing the same thing right now that she's doing. <laughs> she would still be all up in your business. She would still be the crazy little wild spirit she is. I think with Down syndrome, it just adds more joy. Yeah. And it just adds more like character and adds more... Um, adventure? Adventure. Yes. Have and we had more more adventures? adventures? Yes, we have. We have because, yes. she, because of Down syndrome, right? Yeah. I don't, I think if she didn't have Down Syndrome, we would, I don't know, I think if she didn't have Down Syndrome, then our life would just be like, it would just be normal. But I think with Down Syndrome added something in all of our lives that made us a little bit more unique. Yeah, so I think like what you're saying is if she didn't have Down Syndrome, our life would be, it wouldn't be any less wild or chaotic, right? Yeah, I think it'd be pretty much the same. It'd be pretty same. much the same, pretty much normal, right? Yeah. So it but doesn't... But we wouldn't have like more experiences. Yeah. Like, we have so much more experiences now that she has Down Syndrome. Like we get to go to Buddy Walks and... Great Wolf Lodge, which they're not really doing that yeah, right now. Yeah, because of Corona. Yeah, but like we meet so many new people too, like within the Down syndrome community. We've made so many more friends. Yeah, we have. We really have. So if anything, it's taken a life that would be pretty just normal, continued the normalness, but just enhanced it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Continued being normal, but then added something to it. I think. It I think like if you were to take a child, and you would add. Uh, one extra chromosome. <laughs> That's kind of what it's done to our lives. Yeah. Right? Well, thank you, Ella. Thank you for sitting with me. So I just wanted to say, just touch on the, those little points that we were making with Ella. Our lives are definitely busy, and there is added things with Estelle. We've got, um, we've got her therapies and stuff like that but then there's stuff that we choose to add which just enhances our life so much more as well it's even hard to put it into perspective and put it into words of just how much she enhances our lives because i wouldn't trade it for anything in the world i wouldn't ever i can't even imagine my life without this little girl we've had a lot of difficulties the first 13 days of her life were was spent in the hospital and and that was very difficult but Jill and I both came out of that situation feeling like that was one of the most difficult things we've ever gone through, but we we came out of it with this just sense that we learned something great. And even if we couldn't put our finger exactly on what it was, it's just going through that hardship, we came out so much better on the other side. She taught us so much in that first 13 days. This is life right here. We're sitting in the middle of it. We got crackers on the couch behind us. I'm probably sitting on some crackers here. Folding clothes in the middle of the living room. A little bit messy, but hey guys, welcome to our lives. This is our life. Oh, I hear Koei. Do you hear Koei? What is he doing? He's crying. Oh, he woke up. <gasps> Are you gonna turn your show on? Yeah. Yeah? You gonna turn your show on? Yeah. Go ahead, yeah, the remote. Let's see, are you gonna get the right button? Oh no, this is a test. She's pushing buttons. Did it work? No? Okay, I'll put it on. You killed the Gucci, dude. You ready for bed? Yeah. Let's go to bed. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming along this evening. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, ring those post notifications, and like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. What? <laughs> Say bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Ball. Oh, a ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know what you meant. Oops. Thank you.
Yeah. The pink hair, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> That's nice. Good night.